Hello, Dawn Master here. Just want to show you what I carry in my car at all times, reorganized. I had a kit like this rigid that was half the size, had all hand tools in it. It got stolen. So I have this one that's a little bit bigger to keep tools in. This is just what stays in my car at all times. Help myself or a friend or someone broke down. On top, got the Altel MX-808. That's with me at all times. Good scanner. Although I want to sell it and get the uh, new launch. I got the gear wrench, 3 8 and quarter drive. Socket set. This one is the first one I bought. It's not really complete. I have the, the bigger set that goes up higher in sizes and has no skips the bigger better set that's actually the one i keep in my car this set stays in uh the wife's truck for her but you get it three eighths and quarter drive socket set in the rigid waterproof case got the 15 piece wrench set from gear wrench metric up to 22 millimeter since everything we work on nowadays is metric not in this case but in the trunk I keep a full set of snap-on flank drive um, plus wrenches SAE up to inch and a quarter inside here we got the GBX 155 Jump start pretty much anything I need to. Got a pack of zip ties for emergencies. Pull the NOCO out. Down in here, got a little pocket pen light from Snap On. And on the side, I got pliers. So, just some cheap Mac needle nose pliers. adjustable wrench uh, cheap Mac diagonal cutters and you don't need everything in your car at all times but you want the basics and then down in here there's storage in the side I don't know why rigid puts these deals in but down in the side you can fill it up and put more stuff in there if you want to but back here I got a little can of WD-40, a 15 16th ratcheting wrench by Gear Wrench, and a Matco 10 millimeter reversible ratcheting wrench. 5 16 would be for hose clamps, the 10 millimeters for 10 millimeter. Icon bit set. You guys have seen these it has all your bits you need in there ratcheting deal nice nice little kit to have so that way you're not you don't have a bunch of screwdrivers because uh, I don't want to be lugging around a, a whole set of screwdrivers all the time um, in this little cubby, I keep a couple pocket screw, pocket screwdriver and a pocket pry bar. Um, my ratcheting uh, T driver, snap on. Uh, fuel filter socket and oil filter socket for the uh, power strokes. A lighter. An adapter, impact wobbles, half inch drive, and three eighths. This is a Carlisle. Um, that's an expert. But yeah, this is a Snap-on fuel filter, oil filter socket. Because um, I have a, I got a Ford uh, Super Duty, 
never know, I might have to change a fuel filter on the side of the road. Extensions and all that are uh, in the gear wrench set. Uh, back here I have the DeWalt mid-torque, not the new one. It's the Honey Badger, so the 894. Um, plenty of power for uh, emergencies. Um, it'll do the lug nuts. And then uh, extra uh, Mac battery for the DeWalt or Mac ratchet or the 3 8 impact. The um, 3 8 drive 12 volt impact from Mac or DeWalt. Um, inch and a half impact socket. So that seems to be kind of a common size for a bigger size for SAE. And then a 21 millimeter uh, grain pneumatic for my lug nuts. And then a set of SAE impact sockets. They're max. Not the highest line. They're just the. Uh, they're, in, they're the middle of the road. These are the. Uh, not the experts, but the uh, PTs, the Precision Torque. I've I've had pretty good luck with these. I like them. And then uh, a set of stubby Carlisle SAE impact sockets. And uh, get one out of there. I don't want to pull the whole thing out. This set goes up to one inch. Um, a roll of electrical tape. This is a Tecton uh, flip socket set, thin wall impact for lug nuts. Has every lug nut size you need in there with a little four inch extension, half inch drive. Got a Mac uh, Compo Cast Dead Blow, a uh, pair of Cobalt um, adjustable wrench, a large size. Um, I would normally keep the uh, 10 inch, I think the smaller Cobras in here. Those got stolen in the other kit. Uh, tire or air check chuck. Um, uh, full size ratcheting screwdriver with the bits in here. I like that. It's universal. Um, Tecton in small brass hammer. Uh, just a, a large flathead prior screwdriver Cornwell. Um, a large Phillips number two gear wrench for extended length if needed. And then what I pulled out that I didn't say I so this is the DeWalt quarter inch uh, ratchet. I don't use it at work because I think it's weak um, and it's slow for professional use. I don't recommend it for DIY home use, working on your own car occasionally, but not like every day. Sure, but they need to uh, they need to update this. It's they just came out with these and. Um, the trusty Mac 3 8 and quarter drive in, uh, ratchets that have been around for 10-12 years uh, puts the DeWalt to shame and the DeWalt supposedly has way more power and it's supposed to be better um, but it's not in my opinion my coworker bought this one and the 3 8 from our Mac dealer about the same time I bought this one and his quarter drive one um, just under a slight load, it just won't even spin. Uh, mine does that sometimes, but I don't use it all the time, so I haven't had that issue really. And then his 3 8 one uh, just stopped working. The trigger, um, the trigger just doesn't work. So he dropped it really hard, and that's what happened. But he didn't crack anything externally. Um, he got it to start working again, literally the day before Mac showed back up. And uh, he's like, yeah, I'll just keep running it till it's done, and then I'll have it warrantied out. But I'm not impressed with these. I mean, they're okay for occasional use, but for the price, I don't think they're worth it. 
I'd rather spend a little bit more and just get the brushed Mac, the BRS 038 or the BRS 025, which is the quarter inch. I don't have the quarter inch Mac, I just have the 38s. So yeah, this is the, uh, the BRS 038. It's only 200 RPM, but it has a lot of torque and they're just tough. Like they're com comfy to use and they're tough. So, and it's got that aluminum housing up here, which is really nice. I wrapped electrical tape around this part just to keep it from scratching up because I'm weird. So that stays in there with the quarter drive. This is just helps. These electric ratchets are just going to help me uh, get something done quicker if I need to take some apart. And I don't have a lot of time. And then I just keep one battery for these two ratchets since they're interchangeable. And then I have another 12 volt battery on my uh, a 3 8 impact. And then I keep a 5 amp hour DeWalt uh, oil resistant on the uh, 20 volt impact to half inch. So that's about all I keep with me. Um, my other tool um, case, the rigid one that got stolen, it, it probably had more than this in it. I got to go back through the video I made of that a while back, like eight months ago or whatever it was, and figure out what all's missing so I can replace that stuff because there was some odd and ends things in there, valve core tool, just random junk that really can get you out of a bind so it'd be nice to pick that stuff up again online or off the tool truck and throw it in here but um yeah that's what i got in here for roadside um, emergency stuff you know i just don't like the idea of driving driving around driving to work every day i got an hour commute and uh, it doesn't feel good when you have something happen or um, someone breaks down. you got to help someone. You don't even have a set of sockets or anything or wrenches. And um, that's why I ended up getting these wrenches because the other ones got stolen. And I had to fix a uh, alternator on a friend's uh, Honda after work. And all I had was my gear wrench socket set. And it really sucked because I didn't have any wrenches. I didn't have my electric ratchet with me or anything. So I'm like, i got to compile all my stuff at home and keep it in my car stuff that really comes handy so that's all i got for you guys and hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you think is a good idea to add to the this little set so you can slide stuff back in here you can slide things down in here oh I forgot one thing. Um, uh, this is the 50 piece. No. It's not the big set, but it's the smaller medium set of the gear wrench um, hex and torx bits. So it's a socket set of uh, torx and hexes. Metric and SAE hex and torx up to T70 or T60, I think. And they're not longs. They're all standard length. But it's really, uh, really sucks to not have any torques or Allens on you when you're working on something. Because a lot of newer cars have a lot of torques. And these are all quarter and 3 eighths drive. So they work perfectly with my rat ratchets and my um, impacts. So anyway, all this stuff seems to fit in here. So that's that. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your little toolkit is in your trunk. Thanks for watching.